Let's compare the Dagny Dover Indie to the Mina Bay Stevie in the neoprene material. ago Mita Bay came out with their first full neoprene bag which is the Stevie and I wanted to share with you how it compares to the neoprene um, bags that I have always loved which is from Dagny Dover. This one has a similar look to it so I've had a lot of um, people asking if I can compare them and I do have the full size the large and also the medium but as I was looking at the medium compared to the full size Stevie I found that the large regular size indie is actually the closest comparison so that's what i decided i'm going to compare for you guys today now i know that the stevie right now is um in neoprene is not in stock but i still think this is a good comparison because even if you get this bag in the nylon or their um, vegan leather it still has a good similar shape to the indie backpack um, in a similar size so I still think it's a good comparison. I did reach out to Mina Bay and I asked them if they are going to be restocking the um, Stevie in the neoprene material and they said yes. So if it is not in stock at this moment it will be coming back soon. Right now I have the Stevie all packed up so I will show you what I have in here and then we'll throw everything into the indie backpack and then that way you can see how it compares and which one you think would work best for you and your needs. Okay, I think the thing that makes these bags look the most alike is they are both a vertical style backpack. They both have these corners here that um, wrap around the top of the bag with the indie you can see here it's wrapped around and attached with this cute little buckle here um, it's just a fun detail if you do unbuckle it the bag will open just a tiny bit wider for you I tend to just leave mine buckled up because they do give you a lot of extra um, zipper there so you have room to work with it and be able to get in out of the bag really easily and then on the Stevie it is the same thing the corners wrap down around the side of the bag these corners actually have a hidden magnet that holds these corners down and again, really easily, they kind of pull up off of the bag so that you can open the bag nice and wide. I have also attached onto these corners the um, shorter strap that comes with the bag. This is so nice just for going over your shoulder. And that is something that you don't get the option with with the um, Dagny Dover Indie Backpack. This is strictly a backpack, whereas the Stevie has the option. Um, you can throw on a longer strap on here. You can wear this messenger style just over your shoulder. So there are a couple more features that you're going to get with the um, Stevie bag in terms of how you can carry it. Um, I really love these awesome zipper pulls that you get on the Dagny Dover. They're just beautiful um, rubber pulls here. They are, look really cute on the outside of the bag. Now let me show you. They both have a grab handle. Um, here at the top. This one from Dagny Dover is like a little more floppy and more towards the back, whereas the Stevie is gonna be more like on the top back portion of the bag. And of course, this one just like stays more in place there. Let me show you the back so you can get an idea of what you have going on back here. Um, both of these bags are great for travel because they both have a luggage sleeve. Um, the nice thing about the Stevie one though is you have a zipper down here, so if you're not using this, as a luggage sleeve, then you can utilize it as a pocket. And it does have, again, a magnetic closure there to keep that closed. Um, whereas this one is just a slip, so it's not um, utilized as a pocket. It's just used as a way to um, put this over your luggage. And they actually both have some zipper pockets on the back as well. The Dagny Dover has two pockets that are a little bit smaller. They go more towards the center of the bag and then stop. So that one and that one on both sides. Whereas the Stevie has one big one on the side. This is usually where I will keep my baby's bottle because the inside of this pocket is neoprene. Now, no matter which style you get, whether it's the neoprene or the vegan leather, or the nylon, all of the pockets on the inside of this liner are going to be the neoprene material. So it's really good for, like if you wanna put sunglasses in there so they don't get scratched. Um, my baby bottle is nice in there just because it is sometimes a little bit wet, so that's not gonna affect the inside of the bag. And then I also wanted to mention the straps. They both are adjustable. 
Um, the straps down here on the Stevie are removable, so if you are gonna wear this bag crossbody, you can take these straps off from the bottom and tuck them into this pocket. Of course, the Dagny Dover backpack straps are gonna be a little bit more soft and squishy, um, whereas this one is just the leather material, but it is a nice width, so it does feel comfortable on your back. Oh, I also did wanna mention, you can see at the top here, there are D-rings, and this bag does come with stroller straps. So here are the stroller straps. Um, that's a nice addition for you. If you did wanna hang the Stevie on a stroller, you can utilize these D-rings here on the sides. And then they do have sold separately stroller clips on their website. Um, with Dagny Dover, these come with the bag. You also get a little pouch. I'm not sure where it is right now, but it's a little mesh pouch. And then also a little shoe bag here comes with all of their bags. You can utilize these for lots of different things. But um, yeah, so with the Dagny Dover bags, you do get a lot of extras with your purchase, which is really nice. They both have two side pockets. Um, the side pocket of the Stevie does have a nice magnetic closure. So that's what you're gonna find with all of the Mina Bay bags. They are going to have awesome magnets all over the place, which I love. So you have a pocket here on this side and one over here on this side, the same. And on the Dagny Dover, you're gonna have a little bit of shorter pockets, but you do have the ability to attach the different stretchy clasps that come with the bag. And um, there is D-rings in each of the side pockets, so if you wanted to throw in keys in there or something, you have the opportunity to do that. And then they also have these elastic pieces here. I just think they're cute, like design pieces on the outside. I know some people utilize these for like umbrellas or different things like that. Um, but I don't usually put anything in here. I just like the look of that. And then the other pocket on this side, again, same thing, but you do also have a D-ring inside if you wanted to attach some sort of clip. They both have their logo here on the top front. Um, Mina Bay's is just beautiful, understated, says Mina Bay right there in kind of a silver. And then Dagny Dover's is going to be a rubber material. Another similarity is they both have a front um, zippered section. The Dagny Dover looks like it has two separate sections. This is actually the same exact pocket. Um, there's just two zippers there. If you wanted to throw in like a package of wipes, you could get your wipes out of this pocket if you wanted to. I mainly don't use this smaller zipper down here. I just use this big one. And since it is the same pocket, because I tend to keep my wipes on the interior. Fun, chunky zipper. Um, on the neoprene version of the Stevie, you do get a fun, um, chunky plastic zipper as well. And this pocket's very interesting because it's kind of hidden, so you can't see the zipper until you kind of look down. The material kind of co goes up a little bit, hides the zipper, and the zippers are really nice and smooth. So I really love this neoprene version. It's so cool. And on the inside, I love that Dagny Dover has a light color material in there so you can see everything that you need. The Dagny Dover bags, they have the same color interior as the exterior. So like this bag is a little bit darker. So I tend to stay away from black when I'm ordering from Dagny Dover just because I don't love the dark interior. Um, this one is probably as dark as I would go. This is the current color. It's not super dark, but I would prefer something lighter like this. You can really find what you're looking for easily. Okay, let's unpack the Stevie really quickly and then we'll throw everything into the Indy. All right, so in this front, pocket. Um, I've just tucked down there my Elijah wallet. This is a brand new wallet from Mina Bay. It's so pretty. Um, it's got a lot of space for you and I love how slim it is so it fits perfectly inside of all your front pockets of your bags. And then I also have in there my cell phone. You get a key clip inside of this front pocket so I've just attached my keys onto that. And then you also get in this pocket two separate slip pockets. And in this one I have all of my different little drink mix-ins from mixers. And then over here in this one, I'm keeping a few lip products. I have my Dime Lip Balm and also my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, lip gloss. In this pocket on the side, I have a little Jujube coin purse that's keeping all of my band-aids and um, some ointment and things. There's actually a few hair ties in there as well. And then in this pocket on this side, I have a package of almost empty tissues, but it will fit a full-size package of tissues there. And then back in this neoprene-lined pocket, 
Um, this is where I keep my baby bottle that fits in there just fine. This is one of those um, Avent bottles. It goes to, let's see, 11 ounces. So pretty good size bottle um, that fits in there with room to spare. Let me show you, this is the base of the bag. Really quickly, you do have four feet. So that is a nice touch from Mina Bay. Now let's go on to the interior. Again, I love that it is a nice light color. And this bag also has a nice laptop sleeve. So if you're going to be utilizing this for um, travel and you need to bring your laptop or you need it for work, this is an excellent work and travel bag. So back here in this section is actually where I'm keeping a changing pad. I just took the changing pad from the Indy, but Mina Bay does have changing pads on their website that are made of neoprene that are super nice and beautiful. So um, whatever changing pad you have, that'll fit back there, no problem. My 14 inch laptop will also fit back Back there with no problem and um, there's a zippered pocket in front of that and inside of here um, I'm just keeping my portable phone charger but it's a really nice deep pocket so you can fit way more in there just sitting in the center of the bag I have a few pieces from Mina Bay that I love um, packing and organizing my bags with this is the large piece from the Mia pouch set so I love using this largest piece as a place to organize all my diapers and wipes. So I have a couple of size four diapers in here. I have my Mina Bay wipes case. I use this case for my wipes in every single video. This is an awesome wipes case. Makes it so much easier than carrying around a big like Costco package of wipes. I can just refill this and it fits very nicely into here. And then I also have my little baggie dispenser from Munchkin for dirty diapers or dirty clothes. It's so nice, the zippers are so smooth. Um, I've had these for a while now and it still looks like brand new. So I'm very pleased with this purchase. It's such good quality. Here is the um, medium piece from that set and in here I'm just keeping a bunch of different um, toiletry needs. I also have in here my um, portable travel scissors. I have my tied to go pen and then like lotion. There's some deodorant in here. I have some sunscreen. Just those little random odds and ends are inside of this medium pouch. Now as you look in you can get a better idea of the organization. You have a lot of pockets to work with. There's six um, elastic pockets around the bag. So on the sides, I'm keeping um, some little snacks for my baby. And then on this one over here, I have the smallest piece from that pouch set. And this is just keeping um, extra bows and also an extra pacifier just in case we lose hers. And then back here in the back, I have a package of boogie wipes. And then in this one, I have an extra onesie. I don't have anything in this one right now, but in this one, I'm keeping my formula um, dispenser from Inno Baby. And then up at the top, I love love that Mina Bay does this instead of just having those pockets at the bottom and not having anything at the top. They give you a way to organize all the way up your bag. So right here is a shorter um, slip pocket and there is where I'm keeping my hand sanitizer spray. And then you have this little zipper pocket as well. And this is where I'm keeping my earbuds. So again, that is a good look at the interior of the Stevie. So here we go. Here's the inside of the Indy. Um, in person, I think it is easier to see, but definitely more visibility with the Stevie. You have the same kind of pocket in the back where you have this tether that's holding um, down this section for like your laptop or something. My laptop will fit into here and it is a 14 inch. This is the changing pad. I'm just going to do the same thing and throw that into there. Now the difference is the Stevie had a zippered pocket right here in front of that. This has two mesh pockets that go down all the way to the bottom. So you have two taller pockets there. I'm going to utilize one for this tall um, snack case. I'm going to throw in this outfit change. Now something I like about the Indy is you actually get this um, neoprene cup holder kind of koozie thing that does snap in and out of the bag. So you'll see on the side there it does have the snap. So if you don't have a baby in bottles or you don't tend to carry like a water bottle around, you can definitely take that out. I'm gonna throw my baby bottle into that side pocket. You can see a little bit better as I start to put different items into the bag. And then on this side is a nice 
Again, tall pocket. It does have a Velcro closure right there. So in that pocket, I'm gonna put my formula just so it stays upright. And then you have another big mesh pocket on the front wall of the bag that does have a magnetic closure. Um, I kind of wish that they had added some sort of zippered pocket on the inside of the bag. I feel like that's the only thing that's missing um, inside of the indie, but I have kind of figured out ways to make it work. But again, I do wish there was some sort of little zippered pocket to hold smaller items. I'm just gonna throw in this extra um, baggie and these stroller clips into that front section. Now let's just fill up the main part with all of these Mina Bay pouches. Oh, I also have this package of wipes. I'll kind of tuck down in as well. I have a lot of room left on top. I could throw in a blanket or a jacket or something could very easily fit here. So I feel like there's maybe a little more room at the top of the indie. And then I think everything else I can fit into the outer pockets. So I have my keys that I will attach to this key leash and throw into this side pocket over here. There are no organizational pockets on the inside of this front pocket, but you do have these little um, pen loops. So I'm going to put in the Elijah wallet and my cell phone. So back here in these back pockets, I'm gonna throw in my coin purse that has those band-aids. And then in this one right here, I will put in those tissues. And then over in this side pocket, I'm gonna throw in my earbuds and my lip products. Actually, in this one, I have my keys, but I can also um, fit in there my hand sanitizer spray. It's a nice, like, wide pocket. That is the inside of the Indie. Very nice and spacious. Like I said, you have a lot of room to work with here at the top. Um, I feel like everything's organized a little bit better inside of the Stevie, but I feel like you might have a little more room inside of the Indy. So I hope that helped you get a better idea um, which bag would work best for you between the Indy or the Stevie from Daggy Dover and Mina Bay. Like I said, the Stevie does come in multiple different fabric options. So you can get it in nylon, you can get it in the neoprene, or the vegan leather, whereas the um, Indie from Dagny Dover only comes in their awesome neoprene fabric, but you will get more color options um, from the Dagny Dover backpack. If you have any questions about either of these different styles, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, I would love to hear what bags you would like me to compare next. I think those are the most helpful for you when you guys are looking to purchase a bag. So please let me know down in the comments what you would like to see compared. This is actually a pairing I didn't even think of until you guys mentioned it to me. I feel like they are really similar in their shape and size. So thank you guys so much for sending in this idea. I will see you very soon for my next one. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future reviews.